All right, and welcome back to the What's Cooking Show. Again, we have our own Jason Hugate with us from the Steamboat Warehouse Restaurant in Washington, and he's gonna be doing some wonderful seafood dishes for us today. And Jason, where we begin at? Joey, uh, since it's gonna take the longest, let us go ahead. We have our pan that we've uh, preheated. <clears throat> we're gonna start our sauce, and first we're gonna use, we're gonna start with some uh, little heavy cream. And we'll probably put maybe about a half quart, something like that, maybe a little more. Um, <clears throat> this is a very simple sauce. We're really just going to reduce some heavy cream. We're going to add a little bit of seasoning to it. You can put whatever kind of seasoning you want in it. Um, you can also use a, a shellfish stock and add it to it, give it a little bit of a seafood flavor. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end, we're just going to put in some green onions, a little bit of parsley, simple, simple. And just to give it color, gives it a little bit of flavor also. also. And then we're going to throw in our uh, beautiful jumbo lump scrap meat, which <clears throat> You can put this in any kind of sauce and it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. And some uh, nice fresh uh, diced tasso from the pig. Yep. So <clears throat> also uh, we have two different uh, types of fish today that we're going to be using. Um, one here, as we said earlier, is um, it's a uh, rainbow trout, if you can see that. And um, we also have a little bit of a shark filet that we had shipped in fresh from Hawaii, which is kind of amazing how they do that like yeah technically it takes two days to get to me because of the time zones but it's they call it overnight shipping and it's fresh never frozen so that's awesome yeah I mean, you, not too many times you hear something like that no um <coughs> we, we got hooked up with this company a while back and um we've gotten uh, tons of different types of fish from there always fresh albacore tuna for one uh, instance um there's all kind of different fish that some of them I hadn't even really heard of. Um, pink uh, snapper, stuff like pink that. Pink snapper, like, I've never heard of that either. <laughs> different kinds of uh, stuff. And um, so we're gonna cook those today. The shark, we're gonna grill it. Um, I find it's more of a steaky, meatier fish, and we're gonna, um, it, it holds up good whenever you're grilling it. So we're gonna do that one first today. Okay. <clears throat> and then later on in the, in the show, we're gonna pan fry the rainbow trout. Um, we did that this weekend and it went over really well. We actually put this sauce on the trout and it sold very good. So Very good. Well, Jason, we are here today to um, <coughs> let everybody know about the OC Tasters Dinner that's coming up. Yes, um, we are, um, it's that time of year again, so we're kind of preparing for the mm -hmm. OC Tasters Dinner. Um, I, for one, won't be there this year, which is kind of it's upsetting. A bummer. <laughs> but, um, you know, this, we have reasons for that. It's not like I just miss, yeah. I would never skip. Um, <clears throat> but it's the 15th annual this year, so we've been doing it for quite some time. And we've had fun every year. Yes, every sir. year. Doors open at 6 o'clock. I think the tickets uh, before the, the event is $30 and it's $40 the day of. So if you can, try to get your tickets beforehand. It'll save you $10 a purse. Actually, one of the places that you can pick them up is my store They're here in Opelousas uh, at 1305 Heather Drive. You can come by and go to the uh, service desk. I do have tickets available there, and um, it's cash or check only. Um, and just come by and you'll be able to get your tickets and don't wait too late because they do sell very fast. Quickly, so yeah. Pick up your tickets while you have a chance. And also, you also can pick them up at, um, at OC itself, right, Jason? OC, uh, you can pick them up at Border Molas, St. Landry uh, Homestead, and uh, Piggly Wheel South. That's right. <coughs> So February the 5th, so Wednesday night? February 5th, so Wednesday night, as always, they have uh, over 80 auction items. Um, and quite a bit of live items. Oh. Well, and as, um, as a total, between silent oh, okay. and live auction, it's about 80, uh, a little bit over 80. So they have plenty, ooh, no. <laughs> they have plenty of, <laughs> boy, that would have been a disaster for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we have uh, plenty of auction, auction items and things like that. Um, you know, it's going to be a nice open event. At, at six or seven? Six o'clock. Six o'clock, okay. And the serving probably starts at, um, if I had to guess, I'd say serving uh, 630, 630 maybe? I think it is, Usually yeah. 630. So and then <clears throat> basically what you come in is you uh, go able to go around to, was it 20 different chefs? and uh, They have approximately 20 different chefs slash caterers, and um, basically you can go on and taste all the wonderful food. It's always good. It's like the soiree. Mm -hmm. It's just a little, it's a little, not as big as a soiree, but it's getting there. So, you know, it's, it's and the <coughs> most important thing too is you actually, as a uh, guest coming in, get to actually vote for the food that you think is the best in each different category. People's choice, yes. Yeah, and then uh, it works from there and then they get used to do the auctions and stuff and then they announce the winner. So and they always have a, a very, like tons of good stuff in mm -hmm. the auction. Mm -hmm. It's always some good items. 
And there's also a cash bar for your beverages and stuff if you want to have a little toddy while you're there. Yeah, cash bar. You'll be 21 years, 21 years old to enter and, the building. That's right. <coughs> All right, Joey, let's take our um, shark filet right here. Okay. And I'm just going to add some seasoning to it, like so. And as as always, uh, anytime we've ever done any grilling on this show, as, as far as I'm concerned, we always bring my little melted butter mm -hmm. basting liquid. <laughs> I got a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, some lemon juice. We have some um, some garlic in there. So we're going to pat it down just a little bit. And we're going to put it on our little hot pan. <coughs> this is a lipless, if you can say that fast and, and easy, <laughs> lipless uh, cast iron skillet. I've never seen one like that. Yep, and you just kind of going to base it on this side so that way when we flip it, it'll be nice and moist. <coughs> it's very pretty. Um, oh, yeah. It almost looks like a, uh, an alley tuna. Yeah. <coughs> almost a swordfish looking color. <coughs> um, we get so many people that come in in a restaurant that have never had it. <coughs> and guests who actually ask the waitress, is it really shark though? Like, yeah. <laughs> may go shark. <laughs> <laughs> it is 100% shark. <laughs> so, uh, the good thing about having this kind of fish on our menu, we enjoy it because um, it's something that's new and exciting. A lot of people have never had it, and your first experience with it will be at the steamboat, and you know we kind of enjoy that. Yes, definitely. It's fun. It's all the, the special you do, especially on weekends, are really, really delicious things that you know that you you come up with and you're able to get fresh and stuff. Yeah. Put it together, especially made in your kitchen by you. Yes, and it's a little different than what you're going to have in the area. So. Yeah, you're right about that. We're going to take a short break and we're going to come back for more What's Cooking in just a few minutes.